evening and welcome to our service of choral evensong from Tunstall Chapel at University College in Durham. It is a pleasure and a privilege to be able to share worship in that way. Next week is Ash Wednesday and we will have a special service of Compline. You will receive information soon about it. For now, you can follow the words of this service on the website of the Church of England, on the Daily Prayer app or in your Book of Common Prayer, if you have one at home. Welcome. for tonight is Psalm 60. Psalm 60, which our choir will now sing. taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 32, beginning at the third verse. 
And Jacob sent messengers before him to Esau, his brother, unto the land of Seir, the country of Edom. And he commanded them, saying, Thus shall ye speak unto my lord Esau. Thy servant Jacob saith thus, I have sojourned with Laban, and stayed there until now. And I have oxen and asses, flocks and manservants, and woman servants. And I have sent to tell my Lord that I may find grace in thy sight. And the messengers returned to Jacob, saying, We came to thy brother Esau, and also he cometh to meet thee, and four hundred men with him. Then Jacob was greatly afraid and distressed, and he divided the people that was with him, and the flocks and herds, and the camels into two bands, and said, If Esau came to the one company and smite it, then the other company which is left shall escape. And Jacob said, O God of my father Abraham, and God of my father Isaac, the Lord which said unto me, Return unto thy country, and to thy kindred, and I will deal well with thee. I am not worthy of the least of all the mercies, and of all the truth which thou hast showed unto thy servant. For with my staff I passed over this Jordan, and now I am become two bands. Deliver me, I pray thee, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau. For I fear him, lest he will come and smite me, and the mother with the children. And thou saidst, I will surely do thee good, and make thy seed as the sand of the sea, which cannot be numbered for multitude. And he lodged there that same night, and took of that which came to his hand a present for Esau his brother. Two hundred she-goats and twenty he-goats, four hundred ewes and twenty rams, thirty milk camels with their colts, forty kine and ten bulls, twenty she-asses and ten foals. And he delivered them into the hand of the servant, every drove by themselves, and said unto his servants, Pass over before me, and put a space betwixt drove and drove. And he commanded the foremost, saying, When Esau my brother meeteth thee, and asketh thee, saying, Whose art thou? And whither goest thou? And whose are these before thee? Then thou shalt say, They be thy servant Jacob's. It's a present sent unto my lord Esau. And behold, also he is behind us. And so commanded he the second, and the third, and all that followed the drove, saying, On this manner shall ye speak unto Esau when ye find him. And say ye moreover, Behold, thy servant Jacob is behind us. For he said, I will appease him with the present that goeth before me. And afterward I will see his face, peradventure he will accept of me. So went the present over before him, and himself lodged that night in the company. And he rose up that night and took his two wives and his two woman servants and his eleven sons and passed over the ford Jabbok. And he took them and sent them over the brook and sent over that he had. And Jacob was left alone. And there he wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God and with men, and hast prevailed. And Jacob asked him and said, 
tell me, I pray thee thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there, and Jacob called the name of the place Peniel. For I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. Here ends the first lesson. The second lesson is taken from Titus chapter 2. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine, that the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, in patience. The aged women likewise that they be in behaviour as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, Keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. Young men likewise exhort to be sober minded, in all things showing thyself a pattern of good works, in doctrine showing uncorruptness gravity, sincerity, sound speech, that cannot be condemned, that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. Exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters, and to please them well in all things, not answering again, not purloining, but showing all good fidelity. 
that they may adorn the doctrine of God our Saviour in all things. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that, denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity, and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. Here endeth the second lesson.
this evening is Edo plus Tampi for Three Voices in a setting by Jacob Clemens Nongpapa. The words are from the Song of Songs, chapter 2, verses 1 to 5. I am the flower of the field and the lily of the valleys. As the lily among the thorns, so is my love among the stones. As the apple tree among the trees of the woods, so is my beloved among the stones. I sat down under his shadow, he whom I desired, and his fruit was sweet to my palate. He brought me to the cellar of wine. He set in order charity in me. Send me up with flowers, you compass me with apples, because I languish with love.
Let us pray. The wrestling of Jacob with the angel may have many echoes in our lives. When we wrestle with events in the world, in our personal lives, in our prayers, we pray that God may enlighten our hearts and minds, that we may have the courage to ask the hard questions and not be satisfied with easy answers. We pray that we may use our intellects and hearts to seek truth, justice, true peace, and love for all. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As we approach the celebration of the Lunar New Year, we pray for all the members of our community here in Durham and across the world who will celebrate it. We pray for safe celebrations and that it may bring much joy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. With a moment of silence, we bring before God our personal words of thanksgiving, our prayers and petitions. These things, good Lord, that we pray for, give us thy grace to labour for. Amen. We conclude our prayers in the words of the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.